I was the only one to go to Girard and it's like a private boarding school, but it's also in the middle of North Philly. I play basketball every single day. I was actually working out in your gym yesterday, right down the street. And for sure, I, I definitely think you can be a professional for sure. My mom always say like, I just wanted like so much more, so much more for you. I wanted a lot more for you. And I knew that like me sending you to that school, uh, it would really like set you up for better. And it was crazy because her and my my grand my grandma and my great grandma like they were like clashing really bad about it because it's like why are you sending her away on the on the day that they like dropped me off I was just like like why are you doing this I'm like I'm like this first grader like crying yelling like why are you sending me here like I felt like I was going to jail and my grandma my great grandma is just like no we're not doing it like it's over like we're taking her home like it's not happening and my mom is just like like she has to do it like i have to do this for her like she needs it like whatever so i think like first grade was really hard it was it was really hard and then second grade it started like it started to get better you know i had friends um it was it was a little more fun like school was fun it was just i just wasn't home like you know like my sisters were home um and but i, I met my new family in in a sense what stood out about kalia to me as she was making her way through gerard was her attitude she had a can-do attitude and she always had a um i'll work with you attitude she was friendly and she got along with most students which is rare because in an environment where you live together every day and you work together in class and you play together after school is over it can become it can become a lot for some students this was me i had like two ponytails um i had the good smooth skin y'all see right i had two little ponytails the sun was shining clearly and you know i had on a white shirt face a little crooked but it's all there right look that's it my grandma, my great grandma, she started like these visits and though the visits helped, but they also didn't help. Like she used to take me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We went to McDonald's and we would go and we would go out and we would go eat. And then she would, she would come back and she would drop me off. And I would be like, all right, like I'm good. Like, and every single time I'd be like, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. And then like one time she was like, you want me to walk you in? And I'm like, yeah, you can walk me in. So she walked me in. She stayed downstairs. I got like to the top of the steps and then I looked down. She was still there and I just started crying. I'm like, I want to go home. Like, I don't want to do this. Like it was, I was in third grade. And I think by the time I got to fourth grade, it was like, it was, a, it was cake. I was going to ask like, what was your funniest memory? Like, in your heart? Oh my goodness. Yo, I got some friends downstairs that was here when I was here. I have, yo, I'm I like just walking, just walking through here. I just have so many memories. Like I was like right outside the chapel and it's like a bush right there. Like we used to push each other in the bushes. Like there were like permanent like holes in the bushes. Like it was like a thing. Like we just never walked past the bushes with each other because like, we would walk past the bushes and just push each other in the bushes. But like <laughs> it was, I have like, I have so many memories. Like I don't know how y'all do laundry now, but like we used to have to get up and we used to like walk. Like, y'all do that in the morning? Like early, like we used to, it just used to be a mess. Like we were just, we were, we were kids for sure. But so many memories here. Like I can go on for like days. Yeah, so we've been friends for about, what's that? 2023? 20. 20. 20. 23 years. Dang. 20 years. We got, yeah. we got time in. Yes. 20? Mm -hmm. yes. That's for real, huh? I'm stuck with him now. <laughs> he can never get rid of us. <laughs> and before her hair was laid, she used to have <laughs> her braids was coming braids to the front, to the front <laughs> like braided bangs. <laughs> braided bangs, like every hairstyle, like, they'd be coming like all to the front, like. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, that that hairstyle was crazy. With the burnt tips, like why with did my the mom do that? The these tips. ones she curled, like they was like. No, she did curl oh, separate. That was wrong. That was sometimes she did curl it, but most of them used to be burnt. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to throw that in there. She said with a rod set at the end. Like she all right, did. that's it. That's enough for that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Her mom used to work here too. We used to like. Her mom used to get a side clean, so we would come up here and get candy. Her office was right there. Yeah. Right there. Come here and get candy. Come get a little handful of candy, chill mm -hmm. for a little bit. Uh, we had a good time. Like, shout out to Gerard for like creating this little bond. Like, this ain't a little bond. Little as she. This is Kalia be down here playing bond. basketball, and I be running a track up there. And I see. <laughs> Sitting, looking, watching, clapping. <laughs> yep. I appreciate Gerard so much because this, it was so many life lessons in something that I had no idea. You know, I was complaining about having to make my bed every day. Uh, and like, you, you know, we had chores, you know, we, in the, in the beginning there was a, a room, like in, in first grade, it was like we all slept in the same room. And then by the time we get to like middle school, it's like only a few of us in the, in the same room. Uh, but you know, our, our residential advisors, they, they made us make our beds. Um, they, we had to make sure our uniforms were intact. We had to make sure we were wearing our school shoes. Um, you know, I, I was wearing this dress. You had to make sure my collar was right. Like, you know, these things that you don't appreciate as a kid, but you know, it's, it's teaches you so many things now as a, as an adult, I'm, I'm making sure that how I look and my appearance is, is correct. So, uh, I think that Gerard has so many life lessons, but I think it was really where everything kind of began for me. She had the longest feet in the world. <laughs> Ever since we were kids. Stop, my feet so big. Now I had to put my foot down. She was like five, six, but like, stop. I'm five, two, actually. I don't know what size what you size were. What size you were? A minute, a nine and a half. No, no I didn't. <laughs> Lastly, I'm going to go from the proud family right here.